created Virgin Territory, which is a short film about a teenage girl's sexual awakening and exploration. Virgin Territory was uh, birthed out of this um, desire to create sex positive queer questioning coming of age story from the female perspective because um, I, I was really tired of only seeing stories told from or you know coming of age stories especially told from the male perspective that you know ended up discreetly slut shaming women um, and I, I was tired of not seeing roles that I you know identified with or related with um, related to um, so I really wanted to create something that me and my friends um, you know understood and 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 felt and and you know wanted to see in the world i think that people think that they have to you know pick who they are and stick to that and be like okay well you know i'm grunge so this is how i act or this is how i dress or this is you know who i am and i think that you're kind of told especially through media that you know you have to kind of define yourself and i think that um you know, you don't. You can just be who you are, and you can, you know, like, I don't know, you can like things that people think conflict, but actually do not. Um, you know, you can be a big punk rock fan, and, you know, wear pink nail polish all the time, and, you know, love frills, and, you know, it's one of those things that I think that we're told that we have to, if we like certain things, or we have to act a certain way, or, you know, and that's just not true. I knew that I wanted to make Virgin Territory, and I wasn't going to wait for anyone to tell me I could or couldn't. I just wanted to make it, and luckily I was able to front the money um, for the project. And then once for post-production, we um, did a Kickstarter and, um, you know, had just a completely overwhelming, incredible response. Um, and we were able to reach our goal within the first five hours of the Kickstarter going live. I knew exactly who I wanted to be in the short. Um, I, Mel Shimkovitz I had worked with on Transparent, and um, Michelle Clooney was actually my neighbor for a bit, and I'm just such a fan of her work, and I think she's just one of the most um, talented and kind people in the world. Um, so I, I knew who I wanted in both of the roles, and um, so I, once I wrote it, I, I sent them both as a copy of the script, and I was like, hey, I'm making this short. Um, can you check it out? I'd love you to consider being in it and thankfully they both um responded to it and said yes um and, and were actually both instrumental in the editing process and um and completely contributed so much to the roles and the movie overall yeah. i was the act i was in, i was an actor writer director in the movie and i think that the most difficult um, the, the biggest challenge was kind of taking off the director hat when I was acting because I think it's one of those things that's so easy to just get in your head and be like, wait, no, 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 we need to get these other shots and, you know, oh, wait, I want it to look like this. And it's just so easy to kind of pull out of the scene, get out of the moment. Um, so really kind of forcing yourself to just drop everything else and be in the moment, I would say, was the most you know, challenging thing to make sure that for every take you are there doing what you're supposed to be doing and acting or being really. I think um, Virgin Territory taught me that if you really put your mind to anything, um, you can you can do it and you can figure it out. And um, it was definitely one of the most difficult things I've ever done because you know you're creating something from nothing. And it was really the entire process. My mom was my producer, and she did an incredible job. But it was, you know, it was, this was a family, <laughs> a family, you know, thing that we all just took on. We were like, we're going to make this happen. And, um, and it would have been really easy to have just dropped it and said, you know what, I wrote it. I, you know, that was enough. I'm 17. I don't have to finish it. Um, and I think that forcing or not really forcing but having that passion to finish it and complete it and share it and share the story um really showed me that if you are passionate enough and if you try and try and try and try you can accomplish what you want to accomplish i hope that audiences um 
ideally I'd like people to see themselves in it and, and relate to it or, or relate in some way or understand other people better by watching it. But at the very least, I would like to at least help continue or create some form of discussion about um, the ambiguity and, and embracing um, uncertainties and, and questions and things that, you know, I think as humans, we're so set on categorizing things and labels and definitions, you know, defining yourself and others. And I think that something that, especially when someone's coming of age, I think that it's this time where it's important to embrace the unknown and embrace that, you know, we're full of contradictions as people. Um, and I think understanding that we're all human and we're all just trying to figure out this weird thing called life um, is really what I want people to hopefully take from watching it. Right now, we're on social media. Um, Virgin Territory the Movie is our Instagram and VT the Movie is our Twitter. Um, we will be showing at Frameline later this month and at other festivals coming up. Um, so check us out there. And then after our festival one run, we should be appearing online on either Vimeo or YouTube. I'm very Emily Robinson on Instagram and Emily underscore Robinson on Twitter. <laughs> I'm going to say create. Um, I think it's important to as an artistic person, I think that sometimes when you're working on one thing, it's impo it, it's easy to kind of get caught up in that and not pull back and just, you know, try something else that you find interesting and weird and exciting, whether it's doodling or, you know, making a patch or putting a patch on a hat or whatever it is. But I think that as a creative person, it's important to just constantly be thinking and creating because that keeps you inspired and it... Um, it keeps you fresh. So I, I think that I'd like to continue to create in every way.